like I'll use seven in myself. Well, we can look at Lima. There's a bunch of you there. So Asher Ryan's batting 326. Three home runs, three strikeouts. But then you go down here like Wade Hobbs. Three home runs, 12 strikeouts. Um, Best O'Wiley, four strike. I mean, it's... I saw a lot of the... Uh, What's going on with Zenus here? One RBI. Struck out eight times. I mean, I, it's like swinging for the fences. Hey, Donder Key, what's up? Great general down there. Uh, again, it's just it depends on how the computer does it. All right, let's head to the next game. Are we? The 8-2 and two Green River Sirens go against the rotational aces New York Nemesis. They've got Reese Cruz on the mound, who's 0-2 with a 7-2-7 ERA. We've got Meow Bupkins, who's been a very solid three-slot pitcher. She's got a screwball, and she's volatile, which we've kind of been keeping under wraps. Looks like Lethal is pumped up and ready to go. Rip Dingers is ready to go. Annabella Stokes has now made her way up to a notable player. See you, Dark Wolf. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you, buddy. Ah, uh, yeah, Senora. We're going to have to get him out of there. We'll have to bring O'Jess back in. So Rip is locked in, and Lethal is juiced. So we're on the road. Where are our greens? Even though it was a curse the last time we did that. It, uh, it totally backfired doing that, but I'm sure we'll be fine. On the air, thanks to Bean Knockout Coffee. Let's hit it. Oh. So we're going on the road. We're heading to New York today. We'll play at Applefield. Oh, they got Kimmy Smoke on their team. I wanted to get her. We just she never come around on the the thing. It's like it's hazy out there today in New York. Hey, Donder Key, glad to hear that. I'm glad you got everything uh, winded down. Lethal Feline, Grisha Chan, and Rip Dingers do up. Rip Dingers, the home run leader in the league right now. Lethal batting 279. I'm going to definitely hit for power here. Uh, the game has... Again, um, made a second person for me. I don't know why it's doing that. That was a perfect pitch. Come on. It's going to be out number one. The game has screwed me with the uh, second player nonsense again. Chan steps up 394 average. That drop. Reese Cruz bringing some junk. That's going to get through. Chan, who has been our supply, surprise sleeper player, will have a stand up double here with one out. And that brings up Rip Dingers. And he has lived up to his name this season. Fouls that one back. They'll take ball one. 
Hard hit. Lopez. Oh, they're going to get him. Shoot. Got him an old rundown. That'll bring up Buck Swiner, 297 on the year. His only home run, it was a back to back with Rip a long time ago. He'll take strike one from Reese Cruz. That's hit up the middle. That's going to be a two out base hit. Now batting the shortstop, number 10, Eduardo Figueroa. Figueroa, 368 now. Nail. Down at his feet. Goes up in the air. 2 0. 3 0. That'll be strike one. See if he can battle back here. He does. Full count. Runners go. He's going to pop that one up. And Buster Biggs will make the catch. We'll head to the bottom of the first. Charlie Lopez, Hugo Tate, and Armando Galindo do up. All right, let's see what Meow Bubkins can do today. We have raised up the pitching ego by one. We'll see if it makes that big of a difference. That's going to hit him in the belly. Nope, he's going to swing at it. That's strike three. Sets him down. Hugo Tate steps up. 350, three home runs on the season. He'll take ball one. He'll take that screwball in there for strike two. Or strike one. I, what are numbers? He'll foul that one off for strike two. That's accurate. Now Bubkins tries to get him to chase. He'll get a piece of it. That's foul. Change up. He'll pop it up. Figueroa going back for it. Makes the catch somehow behind his back through his butt. And that's out number two. Number 19, Armando Galindo. Galindo, 273, three home runs. That one's hit well. Swiner going over for it. He adjust. He'll make the catch for out number three. We'll head to the second inning. Annabella Stokes, Tish Ballin, Jessica Donovan. I should have took Tish Ballin out. I forgot. How come you all didn't remind me to take Trish Ballin out? Annabella Stokes been tearing it up lately, batting 419. It's a high strike. 101 now. Cruz delivering. That's hit well, but the right fielder coming in for it, and Bodie Mathis will make the catch. <clears throat> that brings up Tish. Wow, Mac at Yuki. Okay. She went for that one. That was a little high. That may be a blooper, but the shortstop's running back, and Lopez makes a crazy catch as well. Two away. That'll bring up Jessica Donovan. She's a great catcher, but she is just not good at the batting department. She hit that one well. Did she get enough of it, though? She does not. The wind will blow it down here, coming off the water. Is your slugger feeling sluggish? Get beat. Your knockout coffee specialist. Dick Berger coming up. Bodie Mathis and Buster Biggs. I don't even know what's on. After Dick Berger, I don't know what to say. That is, uh, that is a name of names. Dick Berger got a ton of power, if you know what I mean. Dick Berger fouls that one off to the left. What kind of meat is a dick burger made out of? Just swing and miss on that one. That's popped up. Disappointed. Annabella Stokes ran so fast, she ran past it. Mathis. 
Ground ball. Figaro is there. Flips to Stokes. Stokes. That's a 6 4 3 double play. She made up for it. Had to bring up Buster Biggs. 192, two home runs, and seven RBIs on the season. Hopkins. Oh, that ball's hit hard. It's spicy. Chan chasing back. It's off the line. It stays in barely. He'll throw it in, and that's going to be a double. Had to bring up Kimmy Smoke. I would take Kimmy Smoke on my team. For some reason, she plays way above her stats. It's a bad pitch. It's another bad pitch. You didn't swing, though, but that's okay. Got her swinging, though. That will in the inning. We head to the third. Turn of the order to a Bupkins, Lethal D, and Grecian Chan. Coming up, two hits apiece for each team. No runs thus far, though. This announcer for New York is just saying nonsense on his stuff. Everybody's, like, weird tonight. Bupkins puts it out there. Is it going to drop? No, she put too much on it. That'll bring up Lethal D. He's still juiced. She's still juiced. Excuse me. Come on, Lethal. This is your time. That's going to get through. That's going to roll to the wall. Re Lethal rounds first, heads to second. Galindo has a super arm, so he'll have to stay a stand up double. Look, Lethal, you keep it up. You won't get another hit the rest of the season. Had to bring up Chan. Oh, Lethal. That will move Lethal to third. We're going to need to hit here by Rip Dingers. Come on, Rip. Ooh, that, that one's dirty. That is not going to do it. I went up top for it. That will retire the side. We'll head to the bottom of the third. Turn of the order due up for the nemesis. It really hits you. Chip Duffer's feeling a little uh, tense. Take strike one. That's bad curveball. Oh, that's a terrible fastball. Luckily, he was too fast on that one. One, two pitch. Got him swinging. Meow Bupkin sits him down. Gotta bring up Reese Cruz. Who said that was a good pitcher name? What what am I not referencing in that one? Bruise is what we're thinking of here. That's hit. Oh, and he just gets it over top of Figueroa. That's going to be a base hit for the pitcher. Three screws. I don't get it. He's going to be stealing. That's bull crap. I probably could have got him, but I took... I'd rather have a slow pitcher on second than... I don't know. I probably just screwed up. I'm sure you all will let me know that. Notice how they knew they were going to get the hit there, though. <laughs> Runners on the corner all of a sudden. And Galindo comes up. So all of a sudden... Pressure really loading. He went for that. He went for that big time. Oh, got him with the terrible. Oh, my Lord. 
The changeup, the worst changeup I've thrown like all season. He swings and misses. We'll go to the fourth. Swiner, Figueroa, and Stokes do up for the Sirens. Come on, Buck. We need something out of you. He's batting Stone Cold Steve Austin. One for one today. Hammers that one into the outfield. That's got to be an extra base hit. He'll round first, hit the second. Galindo throws it in, and it will indeed be a double to start this off. Got to bring up Eduardo Figueroa. Thunder Key's going to dye his hair and uh, goatee this color. Take ball one. Good eye. That is popped up. That is not what I wanted to do there. Buster Biggs will hold the runner at second. Now batting the second baseman, number 29. Annabella Stokes. Annabella Stokes. Got a cool demon tattoo on her arm. Don't you just hate when you go to a bar and hit on a woman and she got a big demon tattoo on her arm? She'll pop that up. And there ain't no way she's gonna make that. Now batting the center field. Tish Ballin's already feeling tense. I mean, she's badass. Then you start talking about OJC and her arm burst in the flames. 99 power and she pops it straight up. I got 50 bucks riding on this game. Come on, guys. Oh, is this thing on? Yeah, who doesn't go there? Burger, Mathis, and Biggs coming up. Good thing it's not Buster Burger or Dick Buster. Never mind. Anyway, Dick Burger up the bat here. He's one for one today. It's the cloak bats we used to have. It's a good pitch. Let's drop this one out. You can go for it. Went for that one. Oh, Meow Bupkins, she's feeling bubbly tonight. Bodie Mathis coming up here, 0 for 1 today. Oh, that's a terrible curveball. Luckily, he didn't get a hold of it. Can Rip Dingers run this one down? He does, two away. Mr. Biggs, 1 for 1. They'll foul that one into the dugout. Oh, watch his strike two. It's 0-2 now. Ground ball. Stokes is there. And that will end the inning. That's a big tweet. Hey, postmodern anxiety coming in here. That's definitely, definitely a big Twinkie you got there. Donovan Bupkins and Lethal D, turn of the order coming up. Thank you so very much for everybody that's subbed tonight. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's see what Jessica Donovan can do. Jesus. He's one and two in the count. Two and two now. Cruz bringing it in. She'll hit that one early. Tried to send it down the line. That one gets... No! Duffers, can he make the throw? Yes, because she's slow as molasses. Now batting the pitcher, number 45, Meow Bupkin. Meow Bupkin steps up today. 0 for 1. She's been hot on the mound, though. They'll take ball one. That one's in there, strike one. That was right down the pipe. She'll foul that one back. One and two, the count. Two and two. How's that off? Good at bat for her. She'll strike out, though. She got some pitches on that. Her helmet looks like she takes a lot of... Oh, oh. Don't you talk about my bay like that. Here's Lethal. 
Mmm. That was a good swing. Oh, that was dirty. Hard hit, but there's chip duffers. Kimmy Smoke leading off here in the fifth. Chip Duffers comes up and then Reese Cruz. We are in a pitcher's duel here. Yeah, bring that smoke. That's bad pitch. She broke her bat though, so it wasn't that bad. Swing. Got her on the screwball. Woo! She get me excited. Here's Chip Duffers. He's a little tense. That's a bad changeup. It's a bad fastball, but it was in there. That's gonna hit him in the balls. Oh, he like hit that off the, the end of the bat. Did you hear that noise? Boing. I thought he hit that off his thumb. Now, will they leave Cruz in here? I'm curious if they'll take a gamble on a pinch hitter. Okay. Oh, he's showing bunt. You wouldn't dare. You don't have the balls to bunt. He does have the balls to bunt. Two outs now. They do move the runner to scoring position. That brings up Charlie Lopez, who's 0 for 2 today. I'm expecting him to steal the third. Round ball. That should do it. Figueroa, the lethal, out number three. We'll head to the sixth. Lots of goose eggs on the board. Chan, Dingers, and Swine are coming up, though, for the Sirens. What's that ref doing over there? Put that up. Doing some calisthenics. Reaver must have put in some stuff for him, too. Right field, number 17, Grecian Chan. Chan goes up top for it. Oh, Duffers! You can't even get mad at bad defense like that. Rip Dingers. He's 0 for 2 today. He should be due. He's looking for his double-digit home run. Won't get it on that pitch. I don't know why I swung at that one. This dude's, uh... Too much? Right to Galindo, two away. All right, Swiner. You're batting three, three, three. You've got a single and a double. Let's get the home run so we can work on that triple. He tried. Good effort. He just hit it to the deepest part of the park, unfortunately. And that will retire the side. Hugo Tate, Galindo, and Dick Berger coming up here. We head to the bottom of the sixth. You go take one for two today. That was a surprising called strike. The ball's hit. Chan pursuing. He'll make the catch. One away. Armando Galindo. Dude's got a chin that rivals Jay Leno. I didn't want to throw a curveball. Ooh, that was like a golf hit on that one. One, two, ooh, uh. Woo, set him down. That'll bring up Dick Berger. You all saw we, we raised the ego on pitching. We just got three fabulous pitchers and then Ray. Just like when you talk about Star Wars. We had great movies. And then Ray. Um, I thought I hit him. I really thought I hit him. 
chase the cringe up. I'm not mature enough for this. What? Sit him down. Let's go. I don't even know what I want to play now. I'm just not going to. Hey, I got some hardball five music. Figueroa, Stokes, and Tish Ballin do up. Though I'll probably take Tish Ballin out. There's probably like three people in chat old enough to remember Hardball 5. Big swing and a miss on that curveball. Oh, we got him! Figueroa takes him out! Oh, my! Reese Cruz couldn't survive that one. That will force in the top of the seventh, which would probably, I mean, his stamina is halfway out. <clears throat> Brings in Milo Ware. Green River Killers. I mean, Pete set the tone for what the Green River does. These guys are trying to ford the river, and we're just not letting them. Milo Ware will come in. 238 ERA, eight strikeouts. He's got an elite curveball. He is a rally stopper, so he is a dangerous form. Runner's going to go. Catcher, not in time. Hard hit. Can't get the runner over. Shoot. I tried. All right. Tish Ballin's out of here. Let's bring in uh, Damian Rush. So we can give Norbert Owens a chance. But Rush is faster, so we'll bring him in. And Rush is going to get a base hit. The starting center fielder is back out there. You've awoken the spirit of the Green River. We, we brought the... We brought a, okay, Jessica. Look, girl. We need a hit. Yeah, I, knew, I knew he was going over there. We've got so much speed on the base. in there there we go okay double play is out of thing so we just need her to hit now why in the world did i swing at that get through oh that's still gonna score a run good sacrifice hit by jessica the pitcher number 45 meow bubkins runner on third now two outs though can meow bubkins help her cause i'll take ball one Hit, but Chip Duffers is there. Tell me if you've uh, heard that before today. But the damage is done. The Sirens get the first run. We'll head to the bottom of the seventh inning. Mathis, Biggs, and Smoke coming up. You see the Statue of Liberty. They moved it closer to the stadium so people could see it. It's just like when you go to St. Louis. You see the arch. It's right there. We'll have to watch Meow. She's kind of getting tired. Anticipated that. I don't believe you. Swing and a miss on that one. Ground ball. We'll take those. Figueroa. Throw the first. In time. One away. I mean, all it takes is one swing of the bat to tie the game up, so... Lethal should get that one with ease, and she will. Two away. Bullpen is warming up for the, the Sirens. I can't tell y'all how many times I want to say the Drakes. Oh, Kimmy Smoke is leaving the game. Douglas Berg going to come in the pinch hit here. He's a sign stealer, but he's also a whiffer. 190 average, two home runs, seven RBIs. We've definitely got to get two strikes on him. Get Your knockout copy specialist. Foul that one off. 
Okay, he's got two strikes. Or right, let's just throw one outside and see if he goes for it. I didn't go for that. Okay, I guess I gotta make it believable, don't I? There we go. Meow Bupkin sets him down. We'll head to the eighth. One run lead for the Sirens. Top of the order coming up for them. Feline, Chan, and Dingers coming up. Now batting the first baseman, number 86. <laughs> now in the game, Dandelion Campbell. Dandelion Campbell, a choker coming in to play catcher. I guess they're worried about the speed we have. What a terrible strike. And that's right through the pitcher's legs. Lethal's just aiming for him. Gration Chan comes up. He's batting 389. One for three today with a double. Yeah, they put a pitcher in there with, or a catcher with a much better arm. I don't know if that was a pitch out or just a bad pitch. That's probably going to be a double play. And it is. Oh, the old 5-4-3. That brings up Rip Dingers with the bases empty. He's 0-3 today. He's not found his groove for some reason. One and one the count. Hard hit into the outfield. Good that he got a hit. Now batting, the left fielder. Buck Swiner, he's two for three. Swiner. That kid's got a massive head on his shoulders. That was terrifying. That was the pitch, and I missed it. There's a base hit. That may actually score a run. I'm going to tell him to go home. Oh, Tate is safe. Tate didn't have the arm. Two nothing. So the setup or setup pitcher is getting ready. Oh, Figueroa. Figueroa. Just not enough on it. So we'll head to the bottom of the eighth. Turn of the order coming up for them. I love Bupkins, but she's done for the day. Let's bring in Elaine Munstar here. Ground ball. Rips there. Throw. In time, one away. So they'll probably pinch hit him. Stu Burko coming in. He's a first pitch slayer. Let's see you slay that. One pitch is in there for a strike. That's hit hard, though, and that's going to get through for a base hit. So one on, one out here in the bottom of the eighth. Nemesis trying to find some stride. Charlie Lopez steps up. He's 0 for 3 today. Foul that one away. In the call. Runner goes. Oh, they did that same crap that the computer does. God, I hate that. They're going to score a run now because our builders couldn't do anything. Man, that's the dirtiest cheat that the computer could do in this game. They still it gets your second baseman out of position and they hit it right there every time. Oh, that makes me mad. That's happened like in both all three Super Mega Base, but the last three of them we played. It's a bad pitch. Ooh, but Annabella Stokes made the catch, saves a run there. But Galindo is up. The game is cheating. That's hit hard. Rush is not going to get it. 
They are going to score one. They're going to try to tear it up. And oh, what a throw. What a throw by the center fielder. Damian Rush, who we subbed in for Tish Ballin, guns down the runner and keeps the lead safe for the Sirens. As we go to the ninth inning, it's 2-1. That was a play and a half. That was, that may have been the, that what seals the game. <sighs> Stokes, Rush, and Donovan do up here. Security run would be great. Oh, we don't have anybody that could come in and play for her. down good base hit good base hit annabella 2-1 game here in the ninth this one's close here's damian rush just made a hell of a throw from the outfield gunning down that run that would have tied it mm. i don't know why i saw that I did not even mean to swing at that. It just let it go through. Number 24, Jessica Donovan. Ooh, Donovan. Is this her first home run? It's heading out there. It's going to be close. It is. Put it on the board. Finally, Jessica Donovan breaks out of her shell. A two-run shot, and that may seal this game. So they changed pitchers. Layla Palmer coming in. And we're going to make a change, too. We're going to bring in Jess Foul to pinch hit. Jess Foul. Jess Foul, a couple home runs in the season. That was, that was it right there, and I missed it. So 4-1 now. Avery getting warmed up. No smack. The closer. Get out. Please get out. Don't be embarrassing. Okay. Come on, Jess. She has fouled off everything this girl's thrown. That ball's hit well. Did foul do it? It is off the wall. Big struggles with it, and Jess Foul's going to pick up a double there. And they're rattled. That'll bring up Lethal D, who's now juiced. Two for four today. Ready to go. Come on, Lethal. This is your time. I, I think I make myself nervous. I make myself nervous with Lethal. How batting the right fielder, number 17, Grecian Chan. That was a terrible jump. She's going to get gunned down easily. We'll head to the bottom of the ninth. Smack Avery going to come in and try to close this one out. He'll have to face Dick Berger, Bodie Mathis, and Buster Biggs. It's true, Lethal. Dick Berger steps in. Swing and a miss on the first pitch. Swing and a miss on the second pitch. That would have been beautiful. One, two pitch. He doesn't go for it. Got him on the 2-2, two, two, 102 mile per hour fastball. One away. A burger constructed entirely of Richard. Smack coming in here and throwing it. 
Looks like the fellow who checks my receipt leaving Walmart if free. You leave Smack Avery alone. He anticipated a 103 mile per hour fastball. I highly doubt that. Throws him! Like Elza. Oh, lethal! What a dive! Tosses it to Smack, and that is the game! The Sirens win here on the road in New York. What a tough game that was. 4-1. And it was close the whole way through. Hey, PSN Blackfire. How are you doing? It was 2-1 going into the ninth. Reaver, hold that thought because I'm probably getting ready to in the stream where I've got to get to bed so I can get up early in the morning to go to my mom. So you may want to save those points. Lethal going two for five, raising that average up close to 300. Chan one for four, one for four for Rip Dingers. No home runs today. He let us down. Swiner three for four in an RBI. Maybe the player of the game. Figueroa one for four. One for four for Annabella Stokes. She had a good game. Tish Ballin just, I don't know what to do with her. Damian Rush coming in, big hit, big defensive play to save the game. Totally taking the wind out of New York cells. Donovan goes one for three, finally gets her home run, a three run shot, opens the game, or two run shot, excuse me. She had all three, she had three RBIs today. I didn't realize that. Uh, oh yeah, she had the sacrifice, that's right. Bubkins, pitcher, she pitched great. She didn't need to get a hit. And then Foul comes in, goes one for one. Tried some swimmer presses. Hey, when you do P90X, you do your best and forget the rest. Bupkins picks up her second win of the season. She goes seven innings, gives up five hits, nine strikeouts. Nice. Munstar comes in, does a solid inning for us, gives up three hits and an earned run, but holds the day. Smack Avery gets his second save of the season in one inning, two strikeouts. Reese Cruz will take the loss. He is injured, though, so we have our thoughts of T's and P's for him, thoughts and prayers. Six innings pitch, five hits, one earned run, one strikeout. He'll pick up his third loss of the season, though. You wonder if he's going to have a job come the All-Star break. Where Lowe and Palmer put together the rest of the game, putting in three innings work, giving up, what is that, seven hits, three runs, and just a couple of strikeouts. Meow Bupkins is your player of the game. And good for Jessica Donovan. I'm glad to see her up there finally. I have talked so much trash about her for the first like 12 games of the season and then she finally comes through for us. Buck Swiner, a silent three for four today, two doubles and an RBI. Hey, you hydrate with what you hydrate with and I'll hydrate with what I hydrate with. There is only one remaining seat on the bus home from the game. Who gets it? Are you shitting me? Look at the swing on this. With steel sports briefs, we're going to protect the, your I, These are just not even like fair at this point. I mean, obviously I'm going to do it to Orlando Stephenson, but like Grizz is like so old, he's probably going to retire at the end of the season. So it's stupid to try to keep his loyalty up. Uh, who knows? Man, he's got the angry thing. Oh, here we go. The team's printer is not working again. Who are you putting on IT duty? Why would that take it away? Are you? Oh my God! This is this this frustrates me. Who has the higher salary between those two? She's seven seven, and he's eight three. I mean, one of them we're gonna have to end up paying more at the end of the season. I don't even look. I looked at Rip Dingers, not him. He's seven two. She's seven seven. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll put it on him. That's so ridiculous, though. I was waiting for another one. All right, we approved the 9-2. and two. Let's see. The Snow Foxes and Tampico Platypi go to each other. Snow Foxes get a 5-2 win. The London Royals need a real big win. This is a divisional game for them. But it looks like the Moon Stars are going to hold them off. London falls to the bottom. Lima loses to Hiroshima. The Jacks get jacked in Wichita. Texarkana, the Sirloin's going up against the Laura Keats. The Laura Keats just piling on the runs. They improved to 8-4. Here's a divisional game. Moose and Penguins. <clears throat> And the Penguins come out on top. They're keeping up with the Lorikeets. Here's the Cobras of Caracas. They're going to lose to Porta Plata. The Freebooters get seven on them. Grapplers of Ever Cruz. Big game from them. 9-3 win over Iowa. The Cyberbots of Seoul come out of Korea and get a win 6-3. Can the Bulls get one back here? They lose it in the ninth. 4-3 to the Crocodons of Florida. Birmingham piling it up. 10-2 on Wyoming. The Geckos, they need a win, and they get one, 4-2. All right, let's go through and see what's the people. So we'll have a, we have two divisional games coming up next. Ray Wilcox is tense, so we're going to have to make a decision whether we're going to get rid of him or not. We need to see if the computer's done anything. Lola Nops picked up nine velocity. We can do weightlifting for Damian Rush to give him more power. Wait, um, I may actually just straight up do that. It's only we've got the money. We've got seven million in player development. What's his uh? Sixty-five loyalty. Yeah, that's that's smart to do for him. I don't think he'll get that power. I mean, he's already got 90 power. If he got 8 power, he would have 98 power. The thing is, is the dude could hit the broadside of a barn. Nope. That's okay. He's still got 93 power. Takes him back up to 83. He's got hearts in his eyes. He loves me. I mean, we all know that we're going to lose certain players at the end of the year, so that's fine. But it doesn't look like... Uh, we will have to make a decision whether we're going to sign Era Lovestone over our boy she got nine more velocity almost 20 more junk and a lot more accuracy I don't think she's gonna go down anymore either she was very close She's plus three, so technically she could drop down to six point four. But if we sign her now, she'll start the next game. I'll think about that. Let's go around and little tour the league and see what people are doing real quick before I uh, wrap up. So I'm kind of interested to see how people are doing on other teams right now. We know Lethal's been tearing it up here lately, so that's great. Gueca, the Guecos, the I may be tired. I may be a little tired. Um, Adam Campbell get paid fourteen point seven million dollars. Good lord, son. Let's see if it's worth it. You have no wins. You've started three games. You have a three eight six ERA, zero and zero. Fourteen strikeouts. Your bullpen must suck. Zero oh and two. Zero oh and one. How many runs have they given up? Eight runs, eight runs. Jeez. That's that's rough. Um, we got two people on here. John Smith is batting 167. Well, if anybody knows Oof, 11 strikeouts, been hit by a pitch. Has six less bats than other players, so must have got hurt. That's probably what's uh, that's the thing behind that. And then smash where are you smash is on the bench which makes no sense he's played 12 games so maybe it's just arresting him right now he's batting 316 so he's batting stone cold steve austin the computer not doing so smart it looks like um 
Grimmith batting 340, two home runs. So doing really well on that front. Lima, we already looked at them. 319 for Asher Ryan. Zenas batting 286. Three home runs for Asher Ryan. And Gray General uh, is batting 233. That's the team with the most viewers. Uh, Lubliani, let's see what Travis is doing here. Batting 250. Got two RBIs. Look at the strikeout numbers. 11, 10, 11, 13. I mean, the strikeouts are so high. I feel like this game really, like, pitching is, like, so crazy. Uh, Z's batting 222. He's got a home run. I mean, the strike, Guns Jackman, 10 strikeouts, no home runs. So a lot of the power hitters are just not power hitting. Captain Pete batting 200 with a home run, 10 strikeouts. I mean, it's just crazy that it's that way. I, I just don't understand it sometimes. Uh, Moonstars, I think, yeah, Monica Wembley is on that team batting 278, six RBIs. They said they kind of fixed that young straight where they won't dump all their players. I'm curious to see that. I missed somebody. Uh, Oh, Rick Snyder's on the team. Rick Snyder batting 400, one home, one home run, two RBIs. Sandcats, nobody's on that team. Snow Foxes, we just seen that. We saw Colonus, he's batting 372, one home run, four, five RBIs. That's not bad, 11 games into the season. Hmm. Uh, on the Cyberbots, we've got Biggie Rivers, who's batting 444, four hits. And a sacrifice. And then we got Cayman, who has got a .96 ERA, three saves, and nine and a third. Nine RBIs. Not bad. Cobras. We got Makatayuki batting 364, three home runs, six RBIs. Not bad. And then Shaman is one and two with 4.50 ERA. Give up 12 runs in three games. Pitched 24 innings. Struck out 24. Shaman is striking him out. I'm guessing he's not getting run support. I know, it's shocking, Shaman. So, 
Yeah, you're keeping the average down of the opponents to 233, so with 24 strikeouts. I mean, it's it's got to be the rest of the team. As word spreads, though, more and more people are steering toward it. I cannot wait for the slow-mo replay tonight. Uh, nobody's on DC. Nobody's on the Crocs. I think that was everybody. It doesn't feel like it, though. But looking at this list, I think I did cover everybody. I always feel like there's more. I don't think anything's really changed in the uh, league leaders. Rick Snyder's still up there for batting average. Rip Dingers has a chance to win the Triple Crown. This is early in the season. We don't know. Rick Snyder for the Moonstar is still playing really well. I wish I could mark the other you all on other teams like Lola there. I wish I could mark that so it'd be like a different color. Nine extra base hits. Lola and Asher Ryan, five and four stolen bases. Lethal with four. Rick Snyder with uh, four. I thought that uh, Kamen would be up there with ERA, but I guess they put a limit on it for you've got to have so many innings. Kamen's up there for saves with three. Stump and Rupert just tearing it up. Shaman, see, Shaman's like fifth on the list for most strikeouts at one and two. It's just ridiculous. What team's Alicia Woodrow on? She's on the hot. I want to see what her uh, stats are. She's 2 and 0 with a 1 2 3 ERA. 22 innings pitched. Give up one home run. She's hit two people. Their fourth person's 0-3. Oh, if y'all want to see how bad people look, look at poor Alicia Woodrow. Sad, sad day. They massacred my girl. Oh, yeah, the camera. My bad. There you go. Dude, she used to have, like, super red hair and looked unique. Now she just looks like she's washed out like all the rest of them. That's what I think they lost in this game was the u uniqueness of certain players that stood out. Like Al Alicia Woodrow is an S-tier player. I think your S-tier and some of the A-plus players should be unique and stand out a little bit more than others. But that's just me. What do I know? I just play games and hope that people watch me. Well, 